Yo, what's up, you biscuit lovers? Welcome back to Super Mario 64 DS, aka Luigi's Picture Poker Gambling. We're back yet again with more gambling, because the gambling never ends. I'm just in a pact with Luigi right now, I swear to God, dude. This cursed ass pact where I'm forced to gamble on, for the rest of my life. Until I can beat Luigi at his smelly game. It's a tough game to win at. Okay. This is already this already seems like a good sign to me. Yeah. I need that I need Captain Falcon saying yeah on my soundboard, dude. How have I not added that already? Awooga. Anytime. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, time to gamble with Luigi. So, I have some great news. Uh, I'm recording this just after me beating uh, Kaguya in Toho 8. I know you guys don't want to hear me bitch about Toho 8 all the time, but I am very happy with myself, and I was in a good mood, so I wanted to gamble with Luigi to celebrate the occasion. And I really need to start betting all my coins, because I could have earned a lot more there. Yo, what's up, Jose? You're back. Jose just sent me some booba ghost. Bo <laughs> booba ghost. Come on, this has to be good, right? Yes. Yeah. Fal Captain Falcon. I'm gonna I'm gonna say to Zeppi, I'm gambling. <laughs> I'm gambling. <laughs> no need, I'm here. Okay, great. It's really, it's really funny. Well, hey, uh, hey, Zeppi, you might have heard the news, or not, but I beat Kaguya, so I'm pretty happy right now. Today is a great day. God damn it, I keep forgetting to bet all my coins, dude. Yep, sure did. So, all I gotta do now is, um, try fighting Mocha, which is gonna go terribly. <laughs> Episode 1 only being 4 hours sounds very short. Someday I'll look at the Xeno games. I do say that a lot. But it is true. Anyways, to be honest, I'm starting to wonder if I'll be able to afford the uh, TTYD remake at the end of this month. Because I'm supposed to be getting an invoice, but I haven't heard back from that yet. So, I don't know. Seven hours of cutscenes. Is that across the whole game, or is that just for chapter one? Anyways, let's hope. Yeah, I really hope that I get that invoice by the end of the month, otherwise, uh, no copy of TTYD. That doesn't mean I won't play it, though. It just means I might not get the game on launch day. Just episode one. Lots of cutscenes, huh? It's like Metal Gear, dude. You're watching Lin beat up master classes. Well, good on you, Lindis. Fuck. 
Forgot to open my soundboard. You guys know what sound effect I was supposed to play. Here we go. There's no chapters? Oh. Dude, I forgot to bet my coins again. Fuck. This is why I'm sick of being at like level at like the ten, dude. It's it's getting hella confusing. Like even if I do win, I usually have like four coins, you know, so I get like four times the money. What the hell is Lin beating up Master Quest? Or Master Quest? Master Class is meme. Ooh, okay, four of a kind flowers. Seems to be one of my most common four of a kinds. This episode's already off to a good start. Anyways, I, I mean, honestly, I am surprised I am in a good mood, because I was in a really shitty mood earlier. Because my brother kept fucking banging, and it was really noisy. <laughs> and I was just like, God, just shut up, stop banging already. It's like, oh my god. It's like the whole reason I want frickin', um... It's the whole reason why I want frickin' noise suppression, like, plates, whatever the fuck they're called. I always forget what they're called. <laughs> Space Opera Metal Gear. Man, my luck is crazy today. I wish I always had good luck like this. Is Xenogear, is Xenosaga on PS1 or PS2? I forget. Yeah. Lindis facing as every class, and she's doing a gauntlet. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's quite intense, isn't it? Actually, no, I'm stupid. It is on PS2, isn't it? I should have known. I was looking at Jose's status earlier, and it says he's on PS2. I mean, I am glad that PS2 shit runs so well these days. It runs about as well as Dolphin at this rate. Anyways, today I was supposed to play Honey Pop, but Seb said he's not free, so I didn't really feel like dabbling in it, so I just said, nah, I'm gonna play Luigi instead. And if Zach wants to do something tonight, he can, but I don't know. He seems like he's never gonna want to do that Master Quest grind. PS2 exclusive, huh? That, make, that does make sense. I would want to play them on there. Aw, oh, so close to goodness. Damn. That's an L. Practicing on Toho 7.5. <laughs> sure, if you want to do that. I personally don't think I will practice, because... I don't really think we're going to play that game more than once anyways, because it's... I don't know. It's the first Toho fighting game, so it's pretty rough around the edges. DS re-release. I'll count it. Ah, oh, for once Luigi got junk. He got screwed over for once. Damn. 
Let's see what kind of foony stuff I can find on Reddit. Someone, uh, someone apparently went to Akihabara and they found um, a Toho like mural there. Looks pretty cool. Wow, what a weird place to re-release something like that on DS. That's like if a that's like if a PS3 game got like a re-release on the Switch or something. Only on and only on the Switch. You know what I mean? Although that is I mean weirder things have happened. I mean what's not as weird is them porting making a Chrono Trigger remake for DS when it was on SNES. As long as you want to talk as long as you want to, we could play we could play the Toho fighting games that are literally the same, just the quality is different. Yeah, I was saying how um Toho Hisotenko or whatever it's called looks a lot better quality wise. Because it has more shit, and also just the graphics look nicer. And I'm also hoping those games don't have that weird window issue where it won't, like, I can't increase the size of the window. Because if there's one thing that always fucking annoys me about programs is when you can't resize the window. Like, what the fuck kind of bullshit is that? Like, why can't I, why can't I do that? Why do you expect me to play with this, like, 240p screen size? Like, I can't, I can't, I have to squint my eyes to see that, dude. They switched from 3D to 32-bit? That sounds really mid, bro. It sounds more like a D-make. The whole point of a port, in my opinion... Well, actually, I probably shouldn't be saying this, but in my opinion, the point of a port is to make something old run equally good or better on a newer console. When you make when you have something that runs worse, the only reason I could justify it is if it's for like a novelty thing or something. Like, I don't know, a good example in my opinion would be like Terraria on 3DS. <laughs> that's a novelty, honestly. Or Minecraft on 3DS. That's another novelty. Could you imagine normal? Could you Minecraft? Could you imagine Minecraft on a DS? <laughs> Come on, the DS, the DS can do 3D shit. Look at Mario 64 DS. That game is like eight megabytes, and it can fit all this 3D crap in it. The DS can do great. You just have to optimize it. We had Sonic Rush. <laughs> Sonic Rush is a 3D game. And that also runs great. Well, anyway, my point stands. N64 was weaker, yeah. Well, the funny thing is, even if the DS looks nicer than the N64, the polygons are actually weaker. It's actually lower poly than N64, I'm pretty sure. Well, either way, DS being able to run 3D is cool. I mean, have you seen have you seen Monkey Ball on GBA? See, now I'm just stretch. I'm now I'm just getting into stretching territory. Yeah. Monkey Ball on GBA is kind of crazy. <laughs> Devil Survivor? Sure, put Devil Survivor on the DS. Actually, that kind of makes me wonder. Would Persona 2 be able to work on a DS? <laughs> Could that run on a DS or not? Honestly, I don't know. Considering the PSP is like a one... 60p console or something, I think. And I don't know what the DS is supposed to be. I don't know what the DS's native re resolution is. I must say native revolution. <laughs> yeah. 
Actually, that's a good question. What is the DS resolution? It's, um... 192. 192p. Almost 200p. So, kind of close to 240. Actually, it's more like 144p. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, well, here, we can we can have a comparison. So, this is Luigi right now. And, um... Actually, where is it? Where is the, uh, video settings? Okay, so this is Luigi at, um... Actually, hang on. This is Luigi at high resolution, right? This is Luigi at native resolution. <laughs> Look how low quality he looks. So, let's just... You know, bump that up to ten to ten AP. Boom, boom. Look how look how smooth he looks now. Smooth ass Luigi. That looks amazing. You know what? Hell, hell, we could even do we could even do better. Um, bump it up to uh, fifteen times native. Boom. There you go. Looks even better now. <laughs> now Luigi's high quality. High quality of Luigi. Honestly, the only thing that could really be improved is some of his textures. The FPS looks choppy. I think it's running at 30. That's probably why. It's either 20 or 30, but it's Mario 64 DS, so... Yeah. there. So yeah, there's your resolution talk for the day. <laughs> if we're lucky, we might be able to make it to 6k, but I don't know, I wouldn't count on it. See, I, I think the bottom screen's probably running at 60, but the top screen's probably running at like 30. I don't, I don't know, can the DS do shit like that? Kind of hard to say. Honestly, I never really had a problem with the frame rate of this game. It never bothered me that much. But then again, um... Okay, he just gave me a full house. <laughs> then again, Mario 64 runs at 30, and now that I've played the game at 60... Um, I can't go back to it to 30 now. I mean, I can, it's just... It's not as... It's not great, it's like downgrading, you know? Okay, what's an example of a game that doesn't look good at 60 FPS? I personally don't know any off the top of my head, though. Because <laughs> in my opinion, f more frames is always better. That's why I played Engage on Cap. And plus it just made the game run faster. Xenosaga Episode 1 doesn't look good at 60. I don't know, it's probably artificial. It's probably an artificial FPS increase then. Like, sometimes it says it's running at 60, but it looks like shit. Like, I don't know, it depends. Like, sometimes some games. Sometimes some games were built to run at 60 FPS, but it, they, they are so unoptimized for the system that they have to run at 30. 
but you're able to uncap them in an emulator or something and then it'll it'll run like it was originally meant to and i always find that shit cool i love when you can do that to games seems like fire emblem engage is an example of that it's supposed to run at 60 but since it's so unoptimized with the switch it ha it can't run any higher than 30 like a stable 30. <laughs> And it's making me wonder, when I play TTYD Remake, how will it look when I uncap the frame rate? Because I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm probably going to get Thousand Year Door Remake, but I'm not going to play it on my Switch. I'm going to probably play it on um, the Switch 9, <laughs> as I like to call it. Yeah, isn't yeah, TTYD Remake has like a really small amount of storage. It doesn't take up much space, I'm pretty sure. can't be that demanding. I mean, Engage is pretty damn demanding, but that in your door remake, I don't think it'll be that demanding. Can't be. Oh, you meant Xenosaga. <laughs> well, actually, I can, I'll can. i look at the Nintendo site in a little bit. Oh, I'm just fixing my stream on phone. I want to make it look nice. Let's go to the TTYD website. Um, here, I'll, I'll show it. I'll show it right here. You look on here, you scroll down. Look at that. 5.1 gigs. It's not a very big game. It's a very small game, actually. So, that's funny. Thousand Year Door Remake is a smaller game than Xeno Saga. <laughs> but you know what? The thing is... Is Thousand Year Door is normally 1.4 gigs on GameCube, so it kind of makes sense that it's not that big of a game anyway. And to be fair, a lot of, um, I actually don't know how much storage Th Thousand Year Door is exactly. Thousand Year Door beats the Xenosaga allegations, let's go. Well, and here's the thing, right? All GameCube and Wii games have empty storage on them. Like, not all of the storage is actually being used. <laughs> the Switch has the power of a PS2. That's really sad if you think about it. But if you extract, like, the disc contents of a game, like the GameCube or Wii games... A game like, um... What's a good- what's a game example? Like, Wii Party. Wii Party? It only takes like 600 megabytes of the actual disc, I think. But a Wii disc alone is like 4 gigabytes. So there's like 3 empty gigs of storage that on that disc that is just not being used at all. And that's probably why these days, Nintendo allows pe like manufacturers to put a game on either like a 32 gig cartridge and like a 64 gig cartridge or a 128 gig cartridge they give you the option like if your game isn't that big you can go for the cheaper option and just get like an 8 gig cartridge or something you know it really depends but i don't think really i don't think they really had that luxury back in the game gamecube and wii days because they were using discs like only three generations of nintendo were using discs they were still using carts on the handheld games. And then when we switched over to the Switch, they started using carts again. So they 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 got that option, you know, like use certain amounts of storage space, basically. So most of the cutscenes in Xenosaga is that that's why it has it takes up all that space. Like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if like half the game's storage is the cutscenes. Wouldn't surprise me. 
Anyway, we're kicking ass at Luigi right now. Oh, I hate when that happens. Why do I always get, like, the cards back? See how blocky Luigi's nose is. It's like a fucking pentagon, dude. Pentagon nose, Luigi. That's an L on my part. Yeah. Ooh, another full house. See, we're rolling in the dough today. Well, I'm getting this much closer to being able to stream Tomodachi life. <laughs> That's one good thing. Which games in the MGS situation? Damn, so close to winning. Yukari is hot in Toho 10.5. I like that. I like that knowledge. That's some good knowledge. Gap Mommy. Yeah. MGS1 took advantage of the PS1's hardware. Hmm. Well, I do like that. I do like when they I love it when I love it when games they exploit the technicalities of the hardware. A good example of that is Banjo Tooie, because Banjo Tooie runs like shit on uh, N64, but they knew it was shit, and so they made it a part of the gameplay, <laughs> because they have like the audio timed to parts of the cutscene. But since the game is running at a slower frame rate than intended, or like a slower frame rate than they wanted to, um, when they ported the game to Xbox. What happened is now the audio doesn't sync up properly anymore because the game is running at full F at a full frame right now. Like it's running at 60 now, which is really funny. I tend to forget FF7 was supposed to be on N64. You would, have had to, you would have had to buy a whole fucking binder of N64 cartridges to fit that game on there. Yeah. Uh, actually, that gives me a good question. What is, what is the longest N64 game? Like, which N64 game takes the longest to beat from start to finish? Because personally, I don't know. Might have to add, might have to ask Google that one, honestly. What's the longest N64 game? Uh, apparently StarCraft 64. I've never heard of that game in my life, and but apparently it's the longest one. At 86 hours? Good grief.
We have Harvest Moon 64 at 44 hours. I mean, I have heard that is a good game, Harvest Moon 64. Or just Harvest Moon in general. And then we have Ogre Battle 64, 40 hours. What an interesting rabbit hole I've fallen into. Gauntlet Legends at 38.5 hours. World Driver Championship, 34, 35 hours. <laughs> what the hell are these games? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, here is apparently the longest, um, the longest one. Ooh, a nice full house, by the way. The longest, f um, f Nintendo licensed game is Donkey Kong 64. Donkey Kong 64 is the longest Nintendo game at 29 hours. And the second longest Nintendo game is Ocarina of Time at 36... Wait, no, not 36. Uh, 26.5 hours. So, yeah. The two longest games are DK64 and Ocarina of Time. There you go. There's your fun facts for the day. And there will probably be more fun facts to follow. Yeah. And it makes me all the more interested to check out DK64 then. If it's that long of a game. FF7 is a long-ass game. You know, I wish I still had my original save file for FF7. I probably don't anymore, because it's stuck on... It was stuck on EPSXE. And we don't know how hot garbage that program is. How compared to Duck Station, anyway. But that is how I first experienced FF7, and I remember FF7 very clearly, because I remember I had a pink, um, I had a pink menu in that game. And that's one thing I really miss about that PS1 era, is you were allowed to customize the game text boxes and stuff like that. Chrono Trigger lets you do that, too. And not Chrono Trigger, uh, Secret of Mana lets you do that. And, uh, Symphony of the Night. They all let you customize the text boxes and stuff. If I could transfer my save data over to, um, over to Duck Station, that would be cool. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I have, like, I don't have my save file anymore. I got rid of the entirety of the, uh, EPSXE folder, so I probably also got rid of my save file, but trust me, I did play through FF7, and it was a great time. I did as much as I could in that game, or at least as much as I wanted to. I didn't ever beat Ruby Weapon or, uh, Emerald Weapon. But that's about all I really missed out on, honestly. Well, apparently, I mean, apparently Ruby Weapon's fucking easy anyway, but I'm just dumbass. <laughs> like, apparently, if you just use Knights of the Round, use the Mime spell, and mimic your teammates knights of the round apparently you can beat you can beat ruby weapon pretty easily <laughs> yes play f7 again as sephiroth new 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 sephiroth mode we got a full house Yeah, we're definitely getting to hit the 750 today, at the very least. I'm just dumbass. <laughs> There's a mod? Maybe it's on the PC version or something. Because yes, there is a PC version of F7. 
And that version apparently has, like, native fast-forwarding stuff. I'm dumbass. That could be a title if you two would be nice about that. Hmm, yeah. probably not, though. That's a good- that's a good title idea if YouTube was fun. <laughs> Is it only for PS1? It's not on the PC port? Weird. I didn't even know people made PS1 mods, but... It is a cool world we live in. Yeah. All right. Um, trying to think of what I want to do here, honestly. Dock station, so modding can be pretty easy if I want it to be. Yeah. I don't really, get, I don't get the logic of how three clouds is better than two Mario's and two stars. The logic of picture poker is crazy. Yay! Luigi just wanted to give me a free win. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it, Luigi was like, ah, nah, you can have your Mario back. You don't, yeah, you don't need any better cast than that. Expecting to win that one. See, things like that can happen. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. I got trumped by the three clouds again. It's always the three clouds. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Fuck. Why does that always have to happen, dude? I always get a full house and then Luigi says, nah, nah, I win. Nah, I'd win. <laughs> yeah, now you can't beat me. Luigi really just said, nah, I'd win. And left. Sadly, not Clunge. Wow, that's a clutch win if I've ever seen one. Still waiting to see if I get a response from anybody. Or see if I get a response from Zach or anybody. They want to do anything tonight. So far, I'm not seeing much, though.
can't change the character names in FF7. Well, you know what? That makes sense, though, because the game is fully voiced. But then again, Final Engage lets you name, rename the main character, and that they made that work somehow. If they wanted to make it work, they just not have to say any names in FF7 Remake, I guess. Which would be kind of weird. Yeah. My win streak continues. Yeah, I guess Avatar characters are kind of a different breed, really. And here comes two Luigi's randomly. Man, Luigi's just going easy on me today. I don't know what's up, but I won't complain. Luigi's usually way stricter than this. The self insert characters are mid. Fine, I hate self-insert characters too. Usually never a fan of those. Dude, same menu I lost again. Ten point five and twelve point three got spell cards, bruh. <laughs> yeah. The hell is that? How, how do you how do you put spell cards in a fighting game? What the f? Yeah. <laughs> it's funny if they get killed off. Yeah, screw you, self insert character. You know what? They should have just killed Joker at the end of Persona Five. That would have been funnier. The game would have had would been would have been more impactful. Instead of killing off Morgana, kill off Joker. Actually, you know what? Kill both of them. <laughs> there you go. Kill Swanson Joker. Man, my luck is on point today. Also, I forgot I had Spotify open. Kill off mid Kodo. Yep, there you go. There's another, there's another character to kill off. I mean, yeah, there is the timeline where Joker dies. It's in it's the bad ending of P5, where uh, Akechi actually kills the real Joker. You know. There you go, there's your- there's your... other ending. Alternate ending, Joker. Just kill everyone, there you go. <laughs> make it- make it a sacrifice story. It's like, we had to sacrifice our lives to save Shibuya, you know? Rogue One did that. Oh yeah! Yeah, it did! It's been so long since I've seen that movie. Saw that, saw that when it came out in the theaters, and then I completely forgot all about it. Yes! Yes! I forgot that's my select button. Yep, Makoto Yuki sacrificed himself. Maybe that's why Persona 3 was so beloved, because the main character actually does something... Sorry. Uh, he just- he does something noble, you know? Or, I don't know, how, um... How Tatsuya says, Guys, don't go! No! Guys, don't go! I always play the wrong sound effect. 
M. Bison jump scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> I mean, you should be used to that M. Bison sound by now, Zeppy. You saw my Mario Kart vibes. Actually, funny, funny thing. I got jump scared yesterday. Um, so, Zach told me to come to his stream because he's doing more dumbass Mario Kart mods. And I had the stream, like, I, I kind of, like, I muted the stream for a while, and, like, I, I didn't really come back to it until later. And randomly, randomly, like, I don't know, maybe an hour later after the stream ended, his Twitch started hosting another Twitch streamer. And I got fucking jump scared. I was like, who the fuck's voice is this? <laughs> and it was so random. And I was like, I didn't even know where the- I didn't even know where the audio was coming from. And then I checked Twitch and I was like, oh fuck, some random Twitch streamer is on right now. And, yeah, it was really weird. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, the, it's just weird because I had the stream muted and then suddenly it just decided to unmute itself randomly. Most bizarre shit ever. Okay, I'll take- I'll gladly take that full health- or that three of a kind. Well, full health would be nice too, but we can't always get that. We are going further beyond 6k today. My, my RNG today is immaculate. Yeah. Tatsuya talking in Terran Punishment is really cool. Yeah. I love how Maya and Tatsuya switch roles. Like, now Tatsuya is the talkative one and Maya is the quiet one. Yeah. It never really bothered me, though. Like, it never really bothered me that Maya's quiet in EP. He shares his voice with Dio. He got cured from Silent Protagonist Syndrome. I mean, all you gotta do to not have Silent Protagonist Syndrome is just not be the silent- just not be the protagonist. Then you can have all the- then you can have all the dialogue you want. It's- it's that easy. I mean, need, need I remind you, guys? That this emote exists? Hold on. Give me a sec. Yeah. Same how that is with Flynn and SMT4A. Okay, well that I have not seen yet, but that is pretty cool. I still like to believe that Terra is the main protagonist of Epic 6, even though technically there is no real protagonist. Just my personal opinion. <laughs> She's the mascot, huh? Wow, what a crazy win that is. Yeah, yeah it's kind of funny. I have, I have not played a single Final Fantasy game since 6. Here I was saying like, oh, I'm going to play Final Fantasy 8 next year or whatever. I never did it, just because I was interested in other games. Yeah, Celeste is pretty important, too. Yeah. Well, we're not quite at 6k yet, guys. We're getting there, though.
Maybe I can beat the two Mario's and two stars. Or that. Two stars and one Mario. I mean, Celeste is fine, fine as well. We're right, gonna have a waifu debate. Three Luigi's. All right, we're officially in 6K territory, boys. We're two thirds of the way done this game, almost. Well, that's not winning any awards. Yeah, I like me some Leotars. Probably, that's probably why I like Kasumi. In Persona 5. Ooh! Three of a kind. Let's get these out of here. Another three of a kind star. Oh, I magically made it back to level 25. Yeah. Won't last very long, though. <laughs> it says that is. Capes are cool. Yeah. See, I told you it was short lived. Just like Joe Kerr. Man, today's been a great episode of Picture Poker, I'll tell you what. Sons of bitches. Oops. Probably should have bet the star, too. Could have had a four of a kind cloud. One time I would want something was weak as a cloud. Oh, wow, that's another clutch win. If it was two clouds in the Luigi in Luigi's, man, that would have been even closer. I got one Luigi, bro, and he got a full house like it's nothing. Let's go. Sadly, no funny number. We're going straight past the funny number. Damn. What the hell is- oh, I'm, I'm, I'm dropping frames, oh shit, what the fuck? Uh oh. Okay, I think we're back. I've been dropping frames recently, I don't know what's up with that, but it's whatever. Okay, now you give me the cloud? After the one where the cloud would have been useful? Imagine if, imagine if Mario C4 Online had the DS graphics. I'll be honest though, I think the DS graphics are kind of ugly. Yeah. 
I don't really like what they did with some of the areas. Like, Ball and Battlefield just doesn't look great in this version. It looks too, um, desaturated. They kind of, like, desaturated the colors of Ball and Battlefield. What's wrong with the N64 graphics? Wow, Luigi, you're a cheating bastard. Where's my flush, bro? I haven't got a flush all game. And Luigi's gotten one no problem. It's not fair, man. True, I mean, early 3D is kind of janky. But there's just something I really love about Mario 64. <laughs> it's designed for a tiny screen. You know, that's why I don't like it, because you're blowing up a DS display. has potential. Oh, shit. When did Luigi get a flush? I don't remember. It was either last episode or two episodes ago. But Luigi got a fucking flush, and it pissed me off, because I didn't get it. Damn, does Mario Party DS really look that bad? I haven't seen it in a while. I don't. I haven't played it on uh, Melon yet. The only flush of the run in Luigi was the one who got it. Yeah, that's what I mean. I was a three the old 3D stuff is charming. Ooh, let's go. Whole house. Let's go! Woo! I'm raking in the dough, baby! Ooh, three of a kind flowers. My win streak today is crazy! I love the fifth gen. My win streak continues, dude. The grind is on. The grind never stops. The party never ends, as they say. <laughs> okay, party is over. It was a fun party while it lasted. Yeah. Dang. Well, that's not winning any awards. That dick measuring contest is down the drain. <laughs> Peak gaming. Yeah, welcome to Peak Gaming, guys. Oh, another full house. Let's go. I want to play Double Dash again. I still do. Maybe maybe I'll find someone to play Double Dash mods with me. And Sonic 06. 
Yeah, Sonic 06 is peak. Anybody who says otherwise are just is just um they don't know shit. I mean, honestly, GameCube and Wii was peak Nintendo anyways. Okay, if I can get the 6250, I'll be happy. PS1, PS2 is good too, yeah. yeah. I, I I have some nostalgia for the PS3 though. I didn't really have do much PS1 and PS2. True, we did get Nocturne, and Nocturne is good. Yeah, I'll be real, I have more nostalgia for the PS3 than the PS1 and PS2. Yeah. But I think I just need to go back and play more PS1 and PS2 games to be honest. I didn't really play much on PS2, and I barely played the PS1. But trust me, the PlayStation 1 and PS2 are good. And, yeah. It has Xeno Saga along with True Best Robo Waifu. You know what? I'm going to keep going because I want to keep this combo going. This combo is good, man. I'll go a little bit longer. Do like me some robot waifus. <laughs> Bayonetta. I mean, I guess Bayonetta counts by this point. She's on, like, mostly Nintendo stuff now. Oh, I got the instant full house thing again. Hey, at least it's not Smash 4, Bayo. Lol. I watched some video about Smash Bros. controversies. <laughs> And like all of the controversial stuff in the Smash Bros. community. Normally I'm not all about that tea. And I'm definitely not about Luigi cheating like a bitch. How many child molesters there were, yep. That's one of the controversies in there. Okay, I'll gladly take a full house if you won't give me a flush. This has potential. Potential ruined. <laughs> potential definitely ruined, oh my god. Yeah. Yep, that's the smash scene for you. Alright, you know what? New goal? Get the 6300 then. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll jam out to Linguini's music opera. We're so close, dude. Yeah. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with that. We made it to 6300. That's not bad. Okay. Well, that I think that'll do it for Luigi's Picture Poker today. We made some excellent progress. We got to 6300 coins. I am very happy with that.
Well, either way, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe me on YouTube and Twitch. Um, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Welcome to Smash It, where everyone is a pedo. Great. Great. Thanks, Smash community. Go love it. I will definitely do more of this, though. So, um, more Linguini's Picture Poker probably tomorrow. Maybe. Depends on what I'm doing, really. Anyways, um, I'll let you guys know if Zack ends up doing anything else tonight. If he wants to grind or not. Otherwise, I don't really have a whole lot of ideas for what I want to do tonight. Because I already did Toho this morning. And I played- now I played Luigi. I guess I'll see. Hey, maybe if I'm really bored and nothing else is happening, maybe I will stream Tomodachi Life after all. Just maybe. Mm-hmm. <laughs>